We're gonna talk about bike fit and the adjuster. So we have Peyton with us today, who's five, four and a half. Yes. Okay, five, 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 four and a half. And so it, it's our belief that the bike doesn't fit five, five and below. Now there are some variations in that depending on where the height is, whether it's upper body or lower body. But I'm gonna show you, now I'm not an expert in bike fit, but I wanna show you kind of the basics of bike fitment and what the adjuster can do to help it make more make it more comfortable for you. So first we're gonna start with your lower body. So you can see right here that we've got this sort of an optimal position. So if you hang a string from her knee, the front of her knee, and you drop that string down on a plumb bob, it should go right through the center of the pedal, which is our proper position. That means that her hips are at the appropriate ratio forward and backward, okay? So some people, if you're short, your tendency is to want to move all the way forward, and what that does is that drives your knee forward, and your knees are always kinked backwards, basically. So we also have height as, as an adjustment that needs to be considered also. So if you want to take that pedal all the way to the floor, right there. So you don't want your knee fully extended or to the point where your hips want to roll, right? So you don't want to be fully locked out. You want just a little bit of a bend. You don't want it too short, okay? And there's plenty of information on this online. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm just trying to explain to you some basics in fitment. All right, so now go ahead and grab the handlebars. So this position isn't a terrible position, but if you have any sort of a lower back strain, shoulder issue or neck issue, this can get really uncomfortable. This is a lot like your, I guess your basic bike riding, road bike ride position if you're climbing a hill. Now, grab the front handles out here. It's out here. So this angle gets steeper just like on a road bike, all right, which we're used to. This angle can increase and that helps you drive power and also maximize aerodynamics. When you're on a stationary bike, aerodynamics aren't necessary. Okay, you can still drive power from this position. Again, not comfortable in a 45 minute ride if, if you want my honest opinion. Now there's nothing wrong with saying that there's a road bike fitment, there's a mountain bike fitment, and then there's a beach cruiser fitment. And I think we all remember the beach cruiser or the bike when we were a kid with the banana seat and the big jacked up handles. That was always the most comfortable bike to ride. That doesn't mean that you're not exercising if you're in a more vertical position. So we designed the adjuster to allow you to get in a more vertical position. So we'll move this back. Okay, go ahead and grab the handlebars. So you can see that this is a much more relaxed position. Actually, it's too low. If I raise, I'm gonna raise the handlebars in a minute, and then you'll see this back position. It's still got a little bit of a lean to it. So when we raise this up, she's gonna be almost vertical. So you can see how much of an adjustment that, that made. Again, that, I just picked a number and arbitrarily raised it to a point where I knew that it would make her more vertical. You need to play with these sitting settings and adjust it. And also remember, if your standard ride setting uh, is, let's say, at eight, 10, you're now three inches higher. So you're gonna wanna either reduce height or raise height because of the adjuster add-on. How's that feel? Good. It's perfect. I don't have to say anymore. So, just a second ago, we had Peyton on the bike. Now, Peyton and Madison are basically the same height, five four and a half, five five. Uh, but you're going to notice a vastly different fitment on the bike, and that's because they carry their height in different locations. So, Madison's height is mostly torso and less leg, and Peyton's height is more leg and less torso. So you can see down here, we've got a full knee lock and a little bit of hip roll because her leg extension isn't the same as, as Peyton's. So give me just a second. We're gonna adjust the bike to make a proper fit to her and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the adjustment made. Now again, just to, as a reference point, the seat setting was at uh, 17 for Peyton and we're now at 13 for uh, Madison. Now they're the same height. That's a that's a big adjustment in seat setting. And now we have the same knee extension, just a slight bend here. So go ahead and go flat. So bring your foot up to about right here. Right there. So 
So if we run the, the string line from here down, she's actually a little bit further forward in the seat than what we would want. In this instance, we're not gonna change it, but you can tell that that string line's not gonna go through the center of the pedal like it did with, with uh, paint. So anyway, let me put the handlebars back. Go ahead and grab the handlebars. That, so for her, because her height is in is here versus here, this reach isn't as extreme or as it doesn't appear to be as comfortable as it did with, with paint. So again, you have to play with the adjustments and you have to work with this. But I can promise you that we're gonna move this back three inches and it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. So now she's almost completely vertical. So this would be your beach cruiser ride. So if you're gonna use a spin tray in this position, or if you're nursing a back injury, or you're just tired of being bent over, that's what the adjuster can do for you. So again, two different examples, 5'5", five, five, female, and that height is difference between torso length and leg length. If you have any questions, send us an email, keep an eye on our Instagram, watch the videos, Wear a mask and don't touch your face.